Okay, in this video here, I'm going to show you real quick how to set your shipping preferences. Um, so, uh, first thing to do is click here on Merchant Services. This is assuming you have a PayPal Merchant account set up, uh, which is free to set up. It just allows you to take payments. Um, okay, so we go down right here to Shipping Calculator. Click on that. Okay, and you've got two settings here, one for domestic, one for international. You just got to set them up separately, so we'll start with domestic. Okay, by default, it's going to ship to all states and territories, so uh, unless there's a reason not to, we're just going to go with that. Okay, uh, shipping method name. Um, it's up to you how you want to send stuff out. Um, you can just put standard shipping. It's probably what... Uh, I would do here. Um, select delivery time. Uh, just uh, up to you how long you want to say it's going to take to send it out. Um, and after sending out CDs, probably easier to just do total item quantity. Um, so you know maybe uh, 3.99 for shipping and handling. Um, you know, entirely up to you, but uh, maybe somewhere in that range. Um, so you can do, uh, you know, if you want to do multiple CDs at that rate, you know, let's say, um, you know, one to four, or um, you know, you could just have it be however many CDs you want to order. It's four ninety nine, uh, three ninety nine, rather. It's up to you. Um, for the purposes of, of this example here, um, we'll say the first four it's three ninety nine five and up it's five ninety nine uh... whatever you want to do so i'm just gonna go ahead and click continue okay and then uh... would just save that and then it's gonna automatically uh... calculate that for shipping for the uh... the button that uh... we're gonna create here um, so i'm gonna go back actually and show you international shipping here okay so uh, you're also gonna set up international shipping here assuming you want to ship it internationally um, okay again by default it's gonna ship everywhere unless you select specific regions or countries Okay, so you can see it's uh, the same setup here. Um, the only difference really would be uh, you probably want to charge more for international shipping. Um, I don't have any great input as far as what you should charge, but I can show you how to set it up. Uh, so yeah, it's basically the same deal. Um, you know, one and up, four ninety nine or or whatever, however you want to do it. But that's, uh, that's basically what you do, and then you just save it, and it saves those preferences. And then uh, when you click the, and when you uh, create the button, um, it's going to automatically load those preferences. Um, so I'm actually gonna show you how to create the button real quick here too. Okay, so just click on Buy Now button. Okay, we'll just give it a name here. Um, and a price. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, I'm just going to create button. Okay, uh, there we go. That's the code that I'm going to need to put this button on the site. And uh, that's it. Just let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.